What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for another Manchester City video. Today in this video we are going to be doing the Manchester City transfer update. Before we crack on with this video though, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content and make sure you help support my channel by subscribing, pressing that red button, pressing the bell and putting your push notifications on. You can also find my social media links which you can find in the description below and popping up on screen if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter and Instagram. You can also find my email in the description below too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships for any videos or any general business inquiries leave a thumbs up if you enjoy this video and let me know your thoughts of these transfers in the comments below before we crack on with this video though just wanted to make a quick note that we've got another video coming out this weekend so i've taken a few days off after doing some daily uploads last week just to try and uh, get the creative juices flowing in me and come up with some good quality video ideas for you guys and i've managed to get a good video to come out this weekend so make sure you stay tuned for that that's transfer related too so if you're enjoying the content and then subscribe, press the bell should I say, and that will put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when I upload, it will keep you in the loop with everything happening with the latest Manchester City news and transfer news, uh, but yeah, uh, if you've got any video ideas or anything that you want to see me do, then please, uh, I'm short on ideas, I've got some ideas but not too many, so just leave in the comments below with your video ideas that you'd like to see me do, and I'll see what I can do. And also, just before we crack on with this video, uh, I just want to say a huge thank you and a huge amount of respect and appreciation to everyone that's working extremely hard, not only in the UK, but all around the world with what's going on with the pandemic and also with what's going on with the lockdowns and everything and all of the essential key workers. I think they're all doing an absolutely amazing job. So thank you and much appreciated to them. And in particular, obviously, the NHS in um, the UK who are doing a fantastic job too. We've got the applause going on every Thursday at 8 o'clock too. So much respect to them, but not just the NHS, but all of the essential key workers that are working extremely hard during these really difficult times. My respect, much appreciated. So let's crack on with this video. And like always, we're going to start off with the ins. And we've got an update from my last video. Comes in the form of David Alaba. Now, apparently, David Alaba isn't that keen on a move to Manchester City after his new agent had proposed a deal to him. Manchester City were keen on a swap involving him and Leroy Sane. Apparently, though, it's uh, difficult and it's complicated. Real Madrid, Barcelona, they've entered the agenda for Leroy Sane. I've got an update on him in the out, by the way. Um, but City could well have a bidding war on their hands in terms of uh, Leroy Sane, which does not suit the agenda for Bayern Munich. Um, City value Leroy Sane at less than £100 million, sources in Germany are telling me. I believe it's somewhere around £90 million now with one year left on his contract. Um, to me, personally, I feel like if Leroy Sane was to leave Manchester City... Um, City are going to want the team that's willing to pay the most to sign Lee Rossani, obviously, but we've got a good working relations with Barcelona. I feel like Lee Rossani needs to go to a club where he's going to be appreciated and he's going to get starts. If that means it's at Bayern Munich, that's at Bayern Munich. If that means it's at Barcelona, it's at Barcelona. If that's at Real Madrid, it's at Real Madrid. Uh, but in terms of David Alaba, apparently, uh, we're not too sure on what the deal's worth, uh, but apparently uh, City were looking at a deal worth... Um, well, they're looking for £50 million for Leroy Sane plus David Alaba. So, Billy's were targeting around £40 million, which I'm not too sure um, is correct. And if I'm completely honest, um, I, I regard that transfer as being highly unlikely. With Alaba not being keen, it's going to be a difficult transfer for City to be able to get over the line. But I do find it really interesting that City are looking at left-backs for uh, the summer transfer window. When eventually the summer transfer window, might not even be in the summer, does get under way um but we'll move on we'll look at Husam Aura, who is back on the agenda at Manchester City. He's a 21-year-old defensive midfielder or central midfielder playing for Lyon in France. City, uh, they're still keen. They're still having a look. Um, apparently, City are also having a good look at um, Fabian Ruiz, uh, who also is just known as Fabian, who plays for Napoli too. Uh, he's a more complete midfielder, so City looking at central midfielders. I'm presuming that this is because City um, are going to lose David Silva. I was hoping that we're just going to not sign a central midfielder Fielder and just promote Phil Foden and have him cover any areas of the midfield that is needed because Bernardo Silva, uh, I'm presuming if Lira Sane leaves at City are going to sign a winger, that that maybe allows a little bit of freedom here for Bernardo Silva who can move to the centre to help cover. We've got Phil Foden, let's not forget. We've got Ilkay Gundogan, Kevin De Bruyne, Rodri, Fernandinho can also play in defensive midfield. There's six great quality central midfielders. So, um, 
Mm, I'm not too sure we should be looking at trying to sign a central midfielder in this transfer window, if I'm completely honest. I would prefer <laughs> to start looking at some of our defence, in particular at centre-backs. We're getting linked with left-backs and central midfielders. I've heard flutters of strikers and wingers, but not too much on the centre-back, which, I'll be honest does concern me a little bit, so uh, yeah, who somehow we're back on the agenda, not that I'm against City signing him, because I think he's a top quality player, and I would like to see him at Manchester City, just like I'd like to see Fabian too, these are good quality central midfielders, um, everything that City would be looking for, they're the right age, um, Fabian I'm not too sure about, but, uh, negotiating with Napoli, I don't see City doing that anytime soon, but Aura, possibly, maybe, I'm not sure, um, yeah, I'd like to know your thoughts in the comments below. I think that's just something I'd like to see Target maybe in a later window, perhaps uh, this 2021-2022 um, summer uh, for that season. So looking in a year and a bit's time rather than for, for this summer, if I'm completely honest. But I would like to know your thoughts in the comments below. Now we're going to move on to the outs. This is interesting. Comes in the form of John Stones. Now, the Daily Star's been reporting that Manchester City, they're ready to sell John Stones this summer, with Arsenal uh, very interested. They're wanting to sign um, John Stones. Tottenham Hotspur are interested too, so they're both North London clubs. Apparently, according to the Daily Star, City, they're looking for around £50 million, looking to recoup as much money as possible that they spent on John Stones. My video that will be coming out this weekend will be looking at players that I want to keep at Manchester City and I want to sell, and I will We'll discuss John Stones in more detail in that video. That's this weekend. Like I said, subscribe, press that red button, press the bell, put your push notifications on to be notified immediately when I release that video discussing more deals, including uh, what I think should happen with John Stones. Instead, we'll go back to Leroy Sane. Uh, we've got a little bit of an update in terms of the outs. I know I've already given an update on the ins, but a little bit more detail uh, going into the outs here. Now, it be it's believed that Leroy Sane, his deal to Bayern Munich, it's slowing down to a point that it could well stall. This is all coming about. Closest, uh, sources close to Bayern Munich are saying this. This is all about Lira Sane getting a new agent. Bayern Munich believed they had the deal signed and sealed. It was just negotiating a deal with Manchester City that was the problem. He picks up that injury last summer. Um, in the Community Shield where City didn't really need to start Leroy Sane and relations between Bayern Munich and City then deteriorated because of that because they believed that Leroy Sane was their man. Uh, they're a bit of a bully when it comes to the transfer window Bayern Munich. They like to get their own way. City weren't having any of it, which fair credit to Manchester City for doing so. But... Um, Lira Sane, whilst he's gone through his rehabilitation process, he's nearing in on returning to the first team. He was set to return to the first team before the pandemic came in. So uh, when the season, uh, if it does eventually get underway again, I suspect that Lira Sane will be ready to go. Uh, so, yeah. Um, but... Uh, Bayern Munich have concerns over his injury track record now. They've got concerns over signing him. Leroy Sané's got a new agent. His new agent wants a new deal with regards to Leroy Sané and his move to Bayern Munich. So I presume that his new agent now is looking for more money and that's putting Bayern Munich off and they are having uh, withdrawal symptoms, shall we say, with regards to Leroy Sané. As I mentioned earlier, Real Madrid, Barcelona, they're showing interest too and if there is genuine interest there and it isn't made up, City then could pursue that and Bayern Munich if they are going to get involved in a bidding war which I highly doubt they're going to want to get this transfer if they want Lira Sane done as quickly as possible are they going to pay the money I do not know is it fabricated with Real Madrid and Barcelona's interest again I do not know the decision will come though when the transfer market opens Lira Sane one of two things will happen he will either leave Manchester City or he'll sign a new contract because mark my word City will not have Lira Sane leave for free next summer so one of two things will happen i'll keep you up to date with that every step of the way it was a saga that dragged on last summer i'm pretty sure it'll be dragging on again this summer but it gives me content and it puts videos out there and i'll be honest i miss speaking to you guys i miss putting out videos so i'm looking forward to that so there we go that's been the video hope you enjoyed the video if you did enjoy the video make sure you help support my channel and my videos by leaving a thumbs up dropping your thoughts in the comments below too you can subscribe press that red button press the bell and put your push notifications on aiming for 6,000 subscribers any help towards that would be much appreciated social media links they're in the description below they're also popping up on screen if you want to go and search for me and follow me on my twitter and instagram don't forget also email in the description below if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries i'll be 
be back again this Easter weekend to, to give you another video on players that I think City should keep and players that I think City should sell for this summer. If you want to stay tuned for that, make sure you subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. And I'll see you all again for that video. Hope you all have an excellent Friday. It's a good Friday. Pun. Da -dun yeah. We're getting like that now. We're in lockdown. I, I think I've been inside now for like three weeks. I'm only allowed to go in the back garden. It's driving me a little bit insane, but I'm staying safe. I am well, and I hope all you guys are staying safe and well too. Um, and the more we stay inside, uh, the longer, well, it's not the longer it'll go on, but the shorter this will go on, which I'm sure will be for a, a little bit longer. But we're positive. Plenty of videos to look forward to, and fingers crossed. We'll have some kind of normality resume some point soon. I'll see you all again for the next video. So I've been JSGC. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. Stay safe. Have a good Friday. Peace. Ciao for now.